what is going on to all my friends out there in the YouTube lands? This is kind of loud. Can I... Can I not uh, lower this? Well, this is the cow. We are playing a new game called Clockwork Empires. At least we... Well, maybe I can turn it down. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. If it is, I apologize. Let me know in the comments, and I will turn it down. Oh, we got credits. The, uh... It, this is an alpha version of a game, so, I mean, configuration just has music on, auto saves on. I mean, there's not really much you can do about that. Of course, we don't have any little games. I'm sure it'll get flushed throughout. This is a game like the awesome but very, very intimidating Dwarf Fortress. You start in the middle of nowhere and you just use the light of civilization to rape and pillage the land. This is going to be sweet. We're going to do a new game. Looks, uh huh. Uh, what? There was another one here. What is this? Uh, second thought. And we crashed. <laughs> uh, alpha is alpha after all. So, new game. Apparently, when I clicked off this, it just vanished. That is going to happen sometimes. But we want to do new Entopedia because that is the easier of the two options you currently have. I don't want to click over here because that crashed the game last time. But as you can see, it's got a list of biomes, the types of uh, animals you can find. I have no idea what the hell an auroch is. Uh, it tells me that it's got tons of uh, wood and minerals, rumors of fish people, seven enterprising colonists, and sundry supplies as befits an expedition of this size. This game has an awesome half British, half steampunk feel. So, please don't crash. Okay, my frame rate dropped a little, but it just went shot back up. So, it's probably just, you know, populating the area and everything. And uh, We will see what we can see. Oh, sweet. It worked. Welcome to the colonies. The ministry is here to help. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Spaceball will pause or unpause. I probably need to remove that tutorial. Excellent. I am excited to learn about bureaucracy. Oh, camera controls. Uh huh. Click. Rotate. Let's begin. How terrifically illuminating. That's a good sense of humor. Uh, I'll go through what I know about this stuff later. Oh, there's an actual pause button there. Step one, resources can be harvested by dragon reptile, blah, 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 chop down. Please continue. Trees give logs, which give plank stone, which I know is the two things I need to start building. Uh, forge these, hunt for food, shoot the... Is that a fish person? So very strange. Uh, so fascinating, humans are so fair, I wish to protect them. Farms and kitchens, which I already know because I did a little bit of research. Thank you for- that's the tutorial? That's the tutorial, really? Okay, so we all paused. Uh, the people still have animations as you will pause, but don't worry about that. So, uh, we're gonna go over this. Jobs is, you know, the stuff that they're doing. What crews are... This game works a little differently than others of its type. I, I don't know what exactly they call the genre, but maybe a colony builder. You have seven people, but right now they're each in a single work crew. Now, even if I have 30 people, if I still only have seven crews, that unlike other things where people just walk and do stuff, I can only do as many jobs as I theoretically have work crews. Prestige, we'll get into later. Here's the number of days I've lived. Pause. This is the building menu. This is the holy snot. This is the, I guess, uh, free building menu if I just want to put random doodads in places. This is my zones and construction. Commands, which is I only have one command. And military. Uh, construct high goblins. And these are like barriers and place landmines. We only have, uh, I believe, one <laughs> patriotic shot. So they all have these cool... Uh, Names. Uh, what I want to do real quick is find my military dude. Must have accidentally turned all that stuff off. Did not mean to do that. 
Live and learn. Okay, Her Majesty's 111th foot. 11th foot. Uh, it's apparently kind of weird size right now, but I want to just turn on the. If I see anything that moves, I want them to shoot it. So, what who's goes back here? Commodities, we have some planks, iron pipes, copper pipes, iron plates, copper plates, brass cogs, some bricks, rough stone blocks. We have three blunder buses. I don't know what the difference is between that and a musket. It says close range. We have pistols. Enough for eight sausage sandwiches, I guess? I don't know. And factions. Tons of factions that we have not yet made. What the freaking hell is that? Okay, so, uh, I've seen a couple of videos. The first thing we want to do is we want a... Okay, yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember that I have to, uh... So, the first thing we want to do is we want to set up a stockpile right... Here. Well, unpause. Oh, I can... What are my filtering options? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so first thing we want to do is we want them to organize all this, and, oh, that's the rotation, obviously. Look at this, we're learning and everything. Uh, we want them to chop these trees down. I want them to mine this amount of stone. I just don't, I don't want massive amounts of work done. I've only got so many people, I want them to organize all this stuff first. Oh, we got more stone. Holy hell, we, we are rich in resources. What the freak is that? Hunt that. Hell yeah. Oh, look at this guy. See, I can click on these people. They have traits. Uh, which make all oh, good or bad. They have memories, which determine their health and everything. Right now, he is fearful. I have no idea why. But eager to fight in a sound mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. He's bitching. I need to turn off the sound effects. Like, look at this. Forge all that. I, I guess I have to. So, the first thing we need is we're going to need... We're going to need to build a carpentry workshop. Where is... It's a mine. That's a house. That's a nicer house. That's a really nice house. Carpentry, carpentry, is this it? Oh, duh, okay. So, we're just going to, the, you can see that the bigger I make it, oh, I was about to say, that's kind of weird, it's not actually, uh, so that's done, and that's just letting me know that I can place and rotate modules. So, we'll need a couple of these, Uh, we'll need this door right here, and I'll put another door here. I said I'll put another door here. I can't build there. And you know what? I don't know what you use a standing desk for. And you can see we've got some room to add more stuff if we need to. How do I... Okay, so I can just click there. And... Alright! We are making it and breaking it. So, let's hurry it up and get this stuff done, people. You know, empires don't build themselves. And actually, I want to tell them to cut down a few more trees. Chop down. Because I think we're going to need lots of wood. So right now, we can see, if we zoom in enough, we can see how much time it's taking them to do this work. So I want the wood, and I want the... Is that wheat? Oh no, that's a bushel of bones. What the hell do I do bones? I should forge that, but I don't know what for. What do you, I use bones for? I can see right now, you know, they're slowly gathering the materials I need. They have not really explored much. I'm kind of disappointed in how long this is taking them. So we're going to zoom in a little more because I want to be able to see. Okay, I guess they are. Um... Uh, okay, I think I'm overwhelming them. I've only got two work crews idle, and one of them is 
my military dude. I guess I can tell him to haul if I want to get them a little faster, but I really don't want to waste the time. So we're going to have to just wait patiently until... Oh, someone made a friend! It'd be kind of cool if I could click on their names, but... Oh, they... Okay, so an orc is like a cow. I get it. So, what is going to do? Farm, stockpile, graveyard, and instruments. I can flatten the terrain, but that's probably unnecessary at this time. And again, we don't want to overwhelm anybody. Uh, they are still... Why are you not... Pick it up, you lazy bum. What the hell is this? Iron... That's canceled job. A naturalist can provide a. Oh! Well, that's right, you can use the naturalist to tell what kind of resources you would gain. So, right now, we are chopping away. What the hell happened to my. Militia? Okay, that might explain the... Oh, I accidentally draft? Is this what the conscription? Okay. Well, you can put that gun back and get to work. No wonder this is taking so long. Yes! Now, we need to build this because we're going to need shelter from the elements soon. We've got tons of wood. Why are we not getting more stone? Does it take longer to get stone than it does to wood? Let's just look with Whistlehook and Frim... You Grimly and you're Chauncey from now on, okay? Hey, who told you you could take a break? Ain't nobody told you you could take a break. And up, oh, a bandit gang appears. One especially brave bandit has set up... Let's not... I've only got one military dude. I mean, I could script if I have to, but I don't even know. And this... I guess this is supposed to be the mini-map eventually. So as long as they don't cause trouble, we won't cause trouble. So we're gonna have plenty. We might have actually mined too much wood and stone to start off with. That's my bad. I don't know anything about this game yet. I do know that they're a lot less likely to work at night, and unfortunately, we have no shelter, so they're not gonna be very happy with me. Uh, I think nighttime, fortunately, is oh, they're making friends, and friendship is what this game is all about. Uh, that and raping the land for its resources and kicking out whatever natives there are while not going insane from Cthulian monsters that try to eat us all. But friendship! That's what this game is all about! Uh, I do... Uh, there's no way to speed up time in this game, which I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of like because it makes you think, what should I be doing right now? Why do you keep running around? It makes me think... Oh, a military of one here. No, I don't want you to chop it. There we go. Palmila. I unfortunately cannot tell what uh, she's equipped with, which would be kind of nice, actually. But right now, you can see here's her history. Just a little blurb about what she likes. Let me know that uh, she has some reserve replies because you do have ammo. And here are your skills. Your skills that a person can have are carpentry, collecting resources, which is foraging, uh, probably chopping down trees and mining notes as well, metalworking, cooking and brewing, science, farming, and construction and repair. Now, as you could probably tell, oh, I got prestige, which we'll talk about in a second. She's terrible at everything. As you gain more colonists and they do jobs, they will get better. For instance, if I put people in the carpentry workshop, they will get better. Alright guys, you had a nice night of nothing. Get your rears back to work. Nobody told you to stop. Look at this. This workshop still ain't done. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm uh, happy. Uh, they're piling up all the blocks here when I need the blocks here. Although Chauncey seems to be having a good old time about it. I love this game. Uh, 
prestige is kind of like a currency. It can be used in two ways. As I build it up, when random events happen, like supplies drops, the higher the prestige I have, the more supplies I will get passively. I can also spend prestige to get a lot of stuff immediately on some certain events, but then I don't have it. It's like, think of it like a bank account. If I spend the money now, I get a good huge bonus then. Oh good, he's building it. Go for it, Chauncey. If I, I spend it now and I get a great bonus now, but I don't get the interest that it occurs. A Colony Prestige 10 can get a ton of extra resources and stuff. But I'm going, so it's one of those full, go holy crud, that's all that wood, and I still haven't gotten all the supplies, so. You know what, I'm tempted to turn your hauling on. Oh, what's this? Has been looking through the books recently and discovered a number of supplies that were overlooked. Oh, well, that's good. What did we get? An extra... Oh, we're saving, but that's okay. Auto saves is good because it's alpha and it crashes. An extra brass cog, an extra boat to pop. So it's nothing I can use immediately, but that's all really high level goods that I can use. That's awesome. Good job. Good job, Chauncey. Wait, was that Chauncey? I'm going to give the credit to Chauncey anyway. A unit of stock of allied star market. So there are other countries that are doing this kind of thing. Uh, one will start off as your ally. One will start off as your uh oh. Uh, the bandit from the gang has made it known that they wish to. Oh crud! Oh my God! There's something that's happening. So this is just let me know how to produce. I will explain it later. We will accept the began because we need them. Oh good, we have the company workshop. I'm going to toggle the... I need to be able to see. And dismiss all that. Good thing we have that there. Okay. So as you can see, we built this and we are now working on filling this up. What I want to do now is get to work on the next building. And we do have our new bandit, formal bandit, has now joined us, which I believe was the only uh, person here. I need to explore. you know, see what I can... Oh, there's the bandit. So, I need to put him into Mr. Thatcher's Patriotic Songs, because I'm going to issue change his clothes to be civilized now. Uh, of criminal element, less likely to cater. So, they're not hurt recently, slept in bed, angry about sending... Well, I need to send you from prison. Oh god, the orc is... Oh, screw you. So next thing, uh, it looks like you've seen the last of Priscilla's blood again because we accepted the design bandit. That's good. So what we need now is a farm. No, a kitchen. Um, how big of a kitchen? Probably a little too big, but okay. And I think they're going to have to clear that up. So what I also want to do is flatten this terrain here. Hang on. Oh, extra. Hell yeah. So this is those prestige things. Right now I can only afford the free one, which is... Hang on. Turn that off so I can actually... There we go. We have accepted criminals into the call. Good luck. Oh, that's great. So, okay, we're going to flatten the land. I want to be able to grow crops here. You know what? I, yeah, that needs to be flattened. And... This all needs to be Go 
to the work crews and okay, it's auto assigning, which I don't actually like. Can I turn that off? Well, I can make some maximum icing fits if I can. So. so people are going to start working on flattening this land for me. As well as moving the supplies, as well as building this workshop. So that's pretty good. The Imperial Airship Board unidentified group patrolling the shoreline. What the hell? Well, this, look at this military dude just loves killing these cows. I've given him a taste for bloodlust. Oh, sweet. The assembly of the Carpentry Workbenchers is complete. So, we're going to assign the Patriotic Saws here. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, so, to ensure your work crews are doing what you want, you can use the filters. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I know what those mean. One word makes two planks. So, what we want to do is switch order type. So, we're probably going to want a standing make plans. Yeah. Like, this is a standing order. I'm telling you, I want a minimum of seven planks at all times. And guys, that is going to be it, actually, it looks like, for this video. Because that's about 20 to 25 minutes, which I think is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the game, and we will pick it up uh, next time in the daytime when I can get more stuff done. And we will try not to starve because we're going to start farming the land.